This video is about something I've been a little bit baffled about. I've had several customers bring their TVs in here that they claim were damaged due to a power surge. And in, in several of those instances, it was due to an amateur electrician hooking up the electrical wires going into the house and they didn't connect the neutral wire. And I've always wondered how in the world is it that not connecting a neutral wire is going to cause power to surge on one of your banks. So I drew a little schematic here to explain what's going on. And then I built an actual circuit where I can show it in greater detail. Basically, if you look at the wires that go into your house, you've got three wires coming off your main pole transformer. You've got your neutral wire, and then you've got your two outer legs. So your, your 220 is usually between the uh, two outer legs here, and your 110 comes from the center to one of the outer legs. And when they wire up your house, they generally try to balance the load so that you've got an equal amount of current being pulled off uh, this leg and this leg. And what I did was I threw together a little circuit here to see if I could simulate what actually happens and how it is power can end up surging on, on one of the banks. I just drew in some loads here just for the fun of it. But my loads in this little circuit are the two resistors here. Now, what I've got right now is I've got the uh, neutral wire and your two outer legs. And of course it's a much lower voltage. I don't feel like shocking myself right now. But anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hook up this load here. Instead of plugging something into one of these outlets like you'd normally do, this is going to be my, my plug-in right here. Let me see if I can put that alligator clip on there. Now, everything seems to be running fine, but watch what happens when I break the neutral wire. When I break the neutral wire, now you're getting a much higher voltage going into this lamp here. And that's how it is that the TVs were damaged that were brought in the shop. Now, if you balance the loads, it's not a problem. I have two 10 ohm resistors here, so I've got completely balanced loads. But if you've got an unbalanced load, you've got a problem. On the other hand, if you hook your neutral wire back up, just flip the switch, it doesn't seem to be a, a problem here. I find that rather interesting. Anyway, you can understand how it is the higher voltage goes to the lamp here if you follow the, the current path we know that the 220 would be from here to here and in this case it's going through the resistor and it's going right across to the center neutral wire which is now broken this end of the lamp here and being hooked to here so it in a 220 system I guess potentially you could be getting your 220 right into all the loads on this side and that would explain how things burn out anyway that had me baffled and I just thought you guys might find that interesting